Hi, hi, Tammy. Hi, Ray. Um, you know, selling online is actually the most convenient way nowadays. Less hassle-free, I must say. Not only that you don't need a physical shop and a salesperson, you also don't need to pay a high price for your rent for online shops. You just need a computer, a stable internet connection, a good marketing strategy, and a designer for your websites, actually, if you don't know how to design your websites. However, if your online business gets bigger, you must hire an online customer service representative or a virtual assistant to help you run your business. Hi, Ray, how, you, how, how, how are you? I'm great. I've been doing good. And you? Um, great, great. Me too. Um, well, today's topic is actually more on the Philippines e-commerce that I would like to share to everybody. Sure. Um, I want to hear that too. Yeah, I mean, uh, I remember in our previous discussion regarding the Philippine e-commerce, that is getting bigger since the lockdown there. That's right, is it? Yes, Ray. Actually, until now, it's getting bigger and better with a lot of options, um, online selling platform. Actually, that's what I'd like to share today. Sure. Can you tell us more about the process and how we can sell in the Philippines? Okay, as you know, apart from selling in Lazada, Shopee, or the big on online selling platform, here in the Philippines, there are a lot of small online platforms that you can use to sell your products. Uh, like, for example? Well, example here is the Viber. Not sure if you or others are familiar with this. It is an app that you can download from your cell phone. Maybe like, this is like maybe WhatsApp or the WeChat. And then they can use this platform to sell their products here. I think it's easier for people to just post and send to the group like that. I know Viber is an app for communication, but I don't know that you can actually use that platform to sell your products. Is it like a shop or, or how is it like? Yes, actually you are correct. It's like a, a communication platform. But what what they do is they post their pictures and then people actually can um, um, send messages to the groups and then the buyers will just scroll the messages and then check if there are products that they need or interested with. Well, some buyers will just send messages directly and then for the things that they are looking, um, they will just scroll and scroll the Viber and then, for example, they find this, um, this thing that they want they will directly message this person and ask for how much and um, how do I pay, something like that. Oh, that sounds easy. And at the same time, it's less time for buyer and seller to connect each other. Yes, yes, you just need to scroll down. Um, less work and time. However, there are cer certain rules for each group. Like for each group, like um, whoever uh, whoever make this group or yeah, something like that, make this group, he is the admin, something like that. So you can, some admins like have certain rules, like you can only post two times a day or morning in the evening, or some can only post their advertisement once so that the group won't be flooded with advertisement. And the buyers won't be having a hard time scroll, scrolling and looking for some things that they want. I see. What kind of group does the Viber have? Like, is it categorized by products? Um, great question, Ray. The Viber has different groups, like um, from foods, non-food products, like face masks, cars, houses, like that. So yeah, they sell houses or cars there. And some groups like um, by areas or by cities or by province within the Philippines. Yes, this is only within the Philippines because most people will also consider the shipping cost. So some buyers prefer buying from within their city for a cheaper shipping cost. Okay. For the group of, for the group, for example, food, um, do they sell food only or any other kind of, whatever kind of food? How how does how does it look? Yes, how, yes. Right. yes, like um any any other food as long as 
as it is edible. So like um, they can sell like frozen meat or ready to cook food or ready to eat foods like cakes and cookies and uh, pack lunch, something like that. Okay. It sounds really interesting. Yes, it is. And um, for the area, anyone can join the group even if they don't live in the in that particular city yes yes of course and um, they, they can do that like me i joined a lot of cities just to just to check what they are selling something like that and then people like to expand their business in different cities so they can do that as well wow okay people are really trying to find business there even during this uh, crisis as i heard thousands of people don't have jobs right now yes that's right here in the philippines a lot of people really um got laid off so they are um they are trying to find work or trying to how to earn money so these people here now earning actually there are a lot of people here who got unemployed and now they are start selling their products through the viber and they are earning more money than they are working in the office so that's why a lot of people are considering opening a small e-commerce business okay that's true but how does the shipping and delivering the item to the customers what's the process well for that they have a lot of choices um like we have this app you can book an an on the day shipping courier like grub um are you familiar with that the grub i heard that yeah again um it goes like you will book it on the app in your cell phone then the rider will go to pick up to the pickup point and drop it off to the location on the day itself so for example i need to um i need to buy something so i need i will book this grab go into this city and then the grab driver will go to that city and pick up the item and then come to me come to the drop off point so some people prefer to well some people prefer to personally pick it up from the seller to avoid shipping cost i see i think everything is quite convenient there and like if they don't want to go to the groceries then they can have the items right away by just buying from the app it gives people less time and 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 work they are safe at home yes especially these days that covid uh, cases are still rising people prefer to just stay at home and be safe so they're just scrolling this um, app and buy a lot of things that they need for the essentials especially so yeah all right are there any disadvantages on this kind of e-commerce setup well maybe it's risky i guess like you don't really know the seller well since they don't have any verification because you just buy from them in the app order then pay before they ship out the item maybe some seller will block you after they receive that payment so that's the most risky part like um example i will buy a cake from this seller and then um i will pay her uh, using the online trust transfer or the wire transfer and then after the seller receives my payment he will block me like that oh my god so you will pay before you receive the items yes that's correct um yes all right that's um a little bit risky um it's really 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 actually risky um not only the sellers sellers are risky the buyers as well since the technology is improving day by day some buyers can edit the proof of transaction like they will send fake bank trans transfer and tell the ser sellers that they already paid and then here's the proof of transaction like that but actually they did not pay they just added the proof of transaction wow they added the proof of transaction but i think it's it would be criminal crime 
anyway, uh-huh. so, so anyway, like uh, you guys was just send a screenshots of the uh, bank transfer, I believe. Yes, especially those who are good at editing pictures, they can edit and tell sellers that they already paid. But this is one easier to detect. Since everyone is now in the online banking, um, they can check right away if the, if they receive the money or not. Then if not, they then they will wait for the money to reflect first before sending them out to the buyers. So actually, this one is not that too risky. So you just have to double check if you receive the money or not before sending it, them to the cost uh, to the buyers okay so yeah anyways it's uh, a little bit risky for the uh for for the seller side or actually both side maybe yes yes <laughs> um so you have to double check um uh, and also verify the sellers do they have to pay tax for selling Oh yeah, as far as I know, recently here in the Philippines, since the government thinks that more people are doing e-commerce business, they are planning to require business owners to pay taxes as well. But that would be impossible, I guess, because they are only earning minimal. So it's not too much. So why would they um, be need to pay taxes? True, true. So yeah, if it, if it is uh, earning not too much, then uh, what would why border? I mean, mm-hmm. that's why a lot of people are complaining about that law. A lot of people have no jobs right now and are just trying to earn with and live their life day by day. Yeah. Okay, that's a great topic to share with everybody. I guess they don't need to um, uh, register a business uh, if their sales transaction are not that uh, not that high. <laughs> Yeah, if it's a minimal or small owners, I think that they don't need to register. However, there are also registered big businesses or in the group to te- to let the co- consumers know that they are delivering their items during these times. Yeah, I think business owners really need to uh, advertise their products so that their business uh, keep it running um, bigger. Yeah, so that's it. That's how e-commerce entrepreneurs work as of the moment here. I hope every everything will go back to normal soon. But I think even if we get back to normal, the app will still be there for buy and sell because it's a great platform to buy and sell, actually. True. Thanks for your sharing, Tammy. I love that. <laughs> Thanks, Ray, to our listeners. Thank you for listening. If you have any inquiries, you may message us at info at uniprohk.com or visit our website at www.uniprohk.com. Thanks, Ray. Bye. Bye.